Hi children and viewers, in previous video I explained about the one of the eye defect myopia and what is myopia and how we can eliminate the myopia I clearly explained in the previous video so you must watch the previous video to understand that so in this video I am going to explain about the one more eye defect that is hypermetrophia what is mean by hypermetrophia and how we can eliminate or how we can correct the hypermetrophia defect in this video you are going to learn this only children myopia and hypermetrophia differences between these two and what is myopia explain it and what is hypermetrophia explain it so it is very very important topic in our public examination point of view in both Telangana and Andhra so that's why you have to watch the video completely without skipping okay children it's very important topic for 10th class don't forget about that so you have to watch the video very clearly and with very more attention now I am going to the topic here what is mean by hypermetrophia hypermetrophia is the one of the eye defect the people we are having hypermetrophia they are able to see the far objects able to see the far objects but they are unable to see the nearer objects clear so hypermetrophia also called as far sightedness hypermetrophia is also called as far sightedness far sightedness far means what long distances sighted means what able to see clear hypermetrophia it is the one of the eye defect the people who are suffering with they can watch or they can view the long objects or far objects they are unable to see the nearer objects that is the hypermetrophia so in this case what will be happen we know that when the eye lens can form the image on retina then only every person is able to see the object clearly without any strain clear the eye lens we know that the eye lens maximum focal length is 2.5 centimeters and minimum focal length is 2.27 centimeters so here when the eye lens can form the image on retina then only the people always see, able to see the object clear and that's why here when the object is at particular distance so i clearly explained in this playlist here there is one playlist for you children human eye and colorful world in that playlist the first video i explained about the least distance of distant vision so the least distance vision is what how much value 25 centimeters so for a healthy person if the object is at 25 centimeters he is able to see the object very clearly then eye lens can make the image on retina without any strain so in this case now here why the people who are suffering with the hypermetrophia why they are unable to see the object nearer object clearly what's the reason behind that to understand that you will go for diagram here so here children hypermetrophia and this is a far sightedness also called as far sightedness and now here in this case you have two diagrams are there on board here this is our eye eyeball and this is the eye lens and already I to explain you this is what retina this is what retina clear so in this diagram you may observe two letters H and L what is the L least distance of distant vision and what is H near point what is H near point so first what is mean by near point here so we know that when the object is at the L we are able to see the object because then the image can form on the retina children in this diagram if the object is beyond H that means on this side just beyond the H then eye lens can form the image on retina so children you have to observe the diagrams very carefully here in first diagram 
here we are showing this is the point here this is the point object now this is the O represents what it is object first you have to observe the two diagrams very carefully now in the first diagram the object is lies between H and L H and L then where we are getting the image as behind the retina what is that behind the retina clear and in this case <coughs> here in this case at the point h we have object in the second diagram at the point h at the near point object is there then we are getting the image on retina so when the object is at near point or near point near point then the image can be formed on the retina but in this case but in this case what you observe when the object is lies between h and l the lie lens can form the image behind the retina so this is the reason for hypermetrophia when the people are suffering with the hypermetrophia if the people want to see the near object people want to see the near object here that means what here l is the values we know that what is that 25 centimeters l is 25 centimeters just nearer to it so that means here 30 40 like that clear when the object is very near to the islands or near to the islands then what you observe the islands can form the image behind the retina that's why the people are unable to see the objects clear the people who are suffering with the hypermetropia they are unable to see the near object why because when the near object is there then island skin forms the image behind the retina behind the retina that's why they are unable to see the near objects for which minimum distance for which minimum distance the island skin forms the image on retina that should be called near point clear for which minimum distance for which minimum distance islands can forms the image on the retina that should be called here near point for example look here now h is here here h is there in the second diagram what i told you l is 25 centimeters l is what children 25 centimeters and now here at this point h i am taking that is 40 centimeters from islands it is the 40 centimeters so here if you can keep the object beyond the 40 centimeters beyond the 40 centimeters that means here at 40 what you observe children here at 40 if you can keep the object that can form the image on retina it's very clear because the object is at a near point so now if you can keep the distance like 50 60 70 80 then also the islands can form the image on retina here 40 50 60 70 80 90 like that in those which is the minimum value as yes, 40 is the minimum value 40 is minimum value that's why here children got my point no need to confuse it's very clear children here simply how i am concluding that from h from h here it is i am saying 40 50 60 70 80 90 like that that means here the people who are suffering with the hypermetrophia they are able to see the four objects that's why here from high lens to the near point is 40 and again high lens to the above near point 50 60 70 like that then also the people are able to see the object because when the distance is more than the near point distance near point distance then islands can form the image on the retina when the distance is less than the near point that's the problem here when the distance is less than the near point 
so here near point value is what i am taking here 40 less than 40 just imagine just example i mean i am told you that near point distance is how much 40 if the distance is less than the 40 then the people are unable to see the near objects that's the defect here got this point children so this is simply about the hypermetrophia what's the reason for hypermetrophia so simply children here hypermetrophia it is the one of the eye defect the people who are suffering with it they are unable to see the near object but they are able to see the far object here why they are able to see the far object and they why they are unable to see the near objects means when the people can watch the near object then eye lens can form the image behind the retina behind the retina for particular minimum distance or for which minimum distance the eye lens can form the image on retina for which minimum distance the eye lens can form the image on retina then that point is what we call near point what we call near point that means beyond the near point 40 is the near point here beyond 50 60 70 80 like that so after 40 if we can keep anywhere object then the islands can form the image on retina but less than 40 that means what in between 25 to 40 in between 25 to 40 the people are unable to see the object because at that time eye lens can form the image on behind retina so that's the reason for hypermetrophia defect so here what's the correction for it what's the correction for it so correction for it simply here i am going to draw that diagram children in examination point of view diagrams also most important that's why here you have to focus on the concept at the same time you have to focus on the diagrams also so don't neglect diagrams so because for communication skills also for drawing skills also you have some marks will be there now this is the eyeball children i am drawing here so and this is the eye lens what is that? This is the eye lens. Clear children. Now here I am taking that. This point is L. What is that? This is the point L. Clear. And this is the point here H. This point is H. Clear. H means what? I told you children. What is the H? Near point. What is that? Near point. And what is L? L is what? least distance of distinct vision that should be almost all here 25 centimeters so now here the object is the object is in between h and l in between h and l so here children so here what's the solution for it for solution is what that means simply when the lens can form the image on retina we are able to see the object to do that here we are going to use one more lens i told you generally when the accommodation is not possible then we can doctors can prefer lenses the focal length should not vary. I'll tell you, focal length of eye lens is what? Maximum 2.5 centimeters. Minimum is what? 2.27 centimeters. The variation of focal length can be adjusted by the eye lens with the help of ciliary muscles. I, I created one video for accommodation. So I will provide the myopia link and accommodation link in the description of this video. You must watch it okay so when the accommodation is not possible then only we can prefer lenses so here in this case also the eye lens can lose its accommodation then we have to go for using of lenses that's why here in this case we are using the one biconvex lens biconvex lens when we are using the convex lens here 
the image can be formed on the retina the image can be formed on the retina so then the people are able to see the object so this is the correction for hypermetrophia what is the correction of hypermetrophia when a biconvex lens is used then the image can be formed by the eye lens on retina then the people are able to see the object for near distances also clear and now here what's happening when we are using some convex lens what's happened there let's discuss about that so here when when we are using the convex lens it can forms the image it can forms image beyond the h when we are using the biconvex lens this is what biconvex lens bike or double convex lens when we are using the double con by double convex lens or biconvex lens then it can forms the image beyond h beyond h or at a near point that should be at this point or beyond the h so then obviously the image found by the double convex lens can be acts as the object for eye lens then it can forms the image on retina that's the phenomena here children got my point when the object is lies between h and l we are using the biconvex lens this biconvex lens can makes the image just beyond the h or at the h or beyond the h when its image at the h or beyond h then that should be acts as the object for eye lens then that eye lens can forms the final image on retina clear children when we are using some convex lens already here where is the object here in between h and l object is there when the object is here it can form the image beyond the h this image can be at side for example here i am showing that this is a here i am showing now this is i i is what image of this lens it can form the image again by the eye lens on retina on retina so this is a symbol children very simple so this is about the hypermetrophia and uh, its correction okay children and now here what is the focal length at this situation you have to find it what is the focal length so what is the lens formula here we have lens formula is there 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u 1 by 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u so children in this case clear if the convex lens if the convex lens can form the image at l just i am saying now here if the convex lens can form the image on l then here obviously what we say here simply this is a d uh, sorry this is l where we have this is the convex lens this is what convex lens in this case i am taking now u is equals to minus 25 centimeters minus 25 centimeters and v is equals to minus d v is equals to minus d simply here if there is no eye lens for this lens is now here eye lens then what is the value of least distance value minus 25 and v is equals to minus d v is equals to minus d then here we are taking now 1 by f is equals to 1 by minus d minus 1 by minus 25 then 1 by f is equals to here minus 1 by d plus 1 by 25 plus 1 by 25 then I am ready here 1 by f is equals to 25 into d 25 into d LCM now what do I write here 25 minus d 25 minus d then f is equals to what do I write 25 d by class multiplication what did children 1 into 25 minus d 25 minus d is equals to f into sorry this is 25 into d this is 25 into d class multiplication children 
25 into d is equals to f into 25 minus d from that what do write f is equals to 25 d by 25 minus d so by using this formula he we have to find out the focal length of islands by use in the case of hypermetrophia very simple in this case we have lens formula is there 1 by f is equals to 1 by v minus 1 by u there what you have take u is minus 25 and v is equals to minus d v is equals to minus d then here simply by substitution of this one 1 by f is equals to 1 by v means what minus d minus 1 by minus 2f 25 then what you get 1 by f is equals to minus 1 by d plus 1 by 25 from that what you write lcm 25 into d then d minus 25 are simply here wait wait so then here i am writing 1 by f is equals to 1 by 25 minus 1 by d then what write 1 by f is equals to so d minus 25 d minus 25 by 25 into d same thing then what do you get 25 d is equals to d minus 25 d minus 25 into f then f is equals to what 25 d by d minus 25 so children this is the focal length of the islands we will find out the in case of hypermetrophia so children so i hope you understand this one if you can understand this one like share comment the video if any friends of you or classmates are in some other schools children also there for them also you have to share this video so please subscribe my channel for the latest notifications we will meet in the next video with some other interesting topic by children take care